SpaceX's ultimate goal is to build Mars Base Alpha. It sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi novel, but the aerospace company's founder Elon Musk is hell-bent on making it a reality. He aims to build the first colony on the Red Planet within the next 20 years in hopes hundreds of brave astronauts could achieve building a self-sustaining colony by the year 2050. NASA selected SpaceX to build a Starship human landing system to return astronauts to the moon by 2025, and the company also has multiple customers that book circumlunar voyage is set to happen in a couple of years, including Shift for Payments founder slash inspiration for Commander Jared Isaac Men, Japanese entrepreneur Yusaku Misawa, and Dennis Tito, who made history as the first civilian space tourists to visit the ISS, into there's a new one aboard Russia's Soyuz, the ambitious timeline is what drives SpaceX as engineers towards launching Starship to orbit before 2022 comes to a close. In the past weeks, the company assessed the structural integrity of the fully stacked Starships slash super heavy vehicle at Starbase. In South Texas, the vehicles are undergoing pre-flight tests before attempting the first ever orbital flight. They performed a cryogenic proof test on Starships and 24-step to top Super Heavy Booster 7. These are the prototypes that will be flown to orbit if all testing goes according to plan during the cryogenic proof tests. On October 24 and 26 engineers filled up the launch vehicle's propellant tanks with inert liquid nitrogen to simulate the pressure the stainless steel spacecraft will experience in flight huge thanks to Lap Padre for always having the greatest footages once engineers determine the vehicle is strong enough to withstand tons of thrust. They will perform a series of Raptor version, two-engine static fire tests. To prepare the methane-fueled vehicle for liftoff, Super Heavy Booster 7 is equipped with 33 Raptor version, two engines capable of generating over 12 million pounds of thrust upon liftoff. It'd be the first time they fully fuel and ignite a stacked Starship duo along with over a dozen engines. If successful, SpaceX will continue to work its way up to the first simultaneous ignition of all 33 of its Raptor 2 engines if the pair survived Wodor and static fire testing. SpaceX could begin preparing the same rocket for Starship's orbital launch debut. Meanwhile, NASA most recently made a prediction of a new timeline for Starship's first orbital flight as well. Speaking to the NASA Advisory Council's Human Exploration and Operations Committee, on October 31, Mark Kissick, Deputy Associate Administrator for Artemis Campaign Development at NASA, said the agency's understanding of progress on testing of the Starship vehicle, including its Super Heavy booster, supported an orbital launch attempt later this year. Right now, the schedule would lead to an early December test flight. He said the December mission will test the entire system for the first time involving the company's 230-foot or 70 meters super heavy booster to lift the 160 foot or 50 meters Starship spacecraft into orbit. The profile for that test flight would be the same as the company previously detailed in regulatory filings with the super heavy booster and Starship lifting off from the Boca Chica, Texas test site. Starship would go into orbit, but almost immediately re-enter splashing down near Hawaii after completing less than one orbit but it's worth noting that NASA's timeline is still far from a sure thing. Regulatory reviews could delay the debut orbital mission beyond December. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, which oversees commercial launch site safety, has not yet granted a license for the mission to SpaceX, part of Musk's growing universe of companies that also includes Tesla. With the most recent acquisition being Twitter, the FAA concluded the programmatic environmental assessment in June following numerous delays from late 2021 due to the need to consult with other agencies and deal with public comments. The agency said this summer that SpaceX needs to take 75 actions to reduce its environmental impact on the area. Despite SpaceX founder Elon Musk saying several times that Starship will be ready to go orbital soon. Recently, he said the target was November, and it seems that SpaceX hasn't quite finished with those FAA action items yet. An FAA spokesperson told Reuters on Monday that the agency will grant an orbital launch license only after SpaceX provides all outstanding information and the agency can fully analyze it. SpaceX is about to start putting the latest prototype of its Starship opens in new tab, Mars Colonizing Vehicle to the test. Starship SN3 opens in new tab, short for Serial No. 3 
has been stacked and hauled to a launch stand at SpaceX's South Texas facilities near the seaside village of Boca Chica. Photos tweeted recently by company founder and CEO Elon Musk opens in new tab show. The stage is thus set for the SN3's test campaign, which will start with a pressure trial and end with short test flights into the South Texas sky. That's if all goes according to plan, of course, and there's no guarantee that it will. Two previous Starship prototypes, for example, didn't make it past the pressure test hurdle. The Starship transportation system consists of a 100-passenger vehicle called Starship and a giant rocket named Super Heavy. SpaceX opens in new tab, is developing this reusable duo to carry people in payloads to a variety of destinations, especially Mars. Indeed, Musk has repeatedly said that he founded SpaceX back in 2002 primarily to help colonize the Red Planet, making humanity a multi-planet species. SpaceX is building its way up to the final Starship design via a series of prototypes that will go beyond the SN3. For instance, SN4 will likely perform the first high-altitude test flights, which will get up to about 12 miles 20 kilometers, above Earth, Musk has said. Such milestone tests might be just around the corner, for the billionaire entrepreneur wants to get Starship and Super Heavy up and running soon. SpaceX representatives have said the first operational Starship missions, likely launches of communication satellites to Earth orbit, could happen as early as next year. SpaceX has one crewed Starship mission on the docket. In 2018, Japanese billionaire Yusaku Maezawa booked the vehicle for a round-the-moon voyage with launch targeted for 2023. The FAA did not provide more information in the report about what items are outstanding and SpaceX did not return a request for comment on another factor that affected Starship's launch's schedule is the further ground tests with the rocket. According to Musk, if there is an RU D on the pad, Starship progress will be set back by around six months. Our UD is short for Rapid Unscheduled Disassembly which is a euphemism that SpaceX uses when a rocket undergoes a serious failure that destroys a vehicle, such as an explosion. And if that were to happen at the launch pad, it could potentially destroy vital components that would have to be fixed and rebuilt. However, no matter what happens, everything provides engineers with vital insight to develop the Starship launch system. But on the other hand, if significant issues arise during testing, SpaceX could choose to retire Ship 24 and or Booster 7 and move on to a new and improved pair Ship 25 most recently kicked off its first cryo-proofing test. It's likely that SpaceX will increase testing on this vehicle in the near future. And once Ship 25 completes its thrust simulator test, it'll be rolled back to the factory for Raptor engine installation and will eventually return to the pad for static fire testing. But the strange thing is that SpaceX started testing Ship 25 again as its partner goes to bed Super Heavy Booster 8 after weeks of sitting untouched at Starbase's launch site is now standing proud alongside its brethren in the rocket garden. It's not clear if this move is temporary, but it suggests that SpaceX will probably skip bat and move onwards to be 9 Booster 9 with significant improvements that will make it more resilient to mid-flight Raptor engine failures was just fully stacked a few days ago. This vehicle will be ready to begin proof testing soon. In other words, SpaceX has multiple backup options for Starship's first orbital flight, and NASA is closely following preparations for the first Starship orbital launch because the agency sees it as the first in a series of tests of a vehicle the agency plans to use to land astronauts on the moon on Artemis 3 through its human landing system contract with SpaceX, we track four major Starship flights curious, except starting with the first orbital launch that's followed by one to test propellant transfer and space, which is needed to refuel the Starship lunar lander and a longer duration Starship mission, details of which he did not discuss. The fourth mission is the uncrewed lunar landing demonstration mission scheduled for late 2024. He said those four tests were evenly spaced and scheduled back when the orbital launch was scheduled for this summer. SpaceX has lost a number of months because of the delays in that first orbital launch. He said but didn't state how it would affect the schedule of the latest tests the agency is following. And with that, today's episode is done and in the books. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below.
and I will see you next time.